Okay, Portal Masters, this is Brylander with Portal Power TV. Um, I have got Flare Wolf here on my portal, and that's because uh, in my last, uh, one of the last gameplays that I did, um, I dropped him on the portal for the first time after an unboxing that I got. But uh, putting Flare Wolf on gave me a very particular body part that I've been needing for a character that I've wanted to make now for quite a while. And now that I have it, he was the only way to get it. Couldn't find it in a chest, couldn't do anything else. You had to get Flare Wolf on the portal to get the spark. So um, we are going to be attempting to make Ghost Rider. And you can see kind of that, that f fire hair that he's got there. Uh, that's going to give us that fire hair for Ghost Rider, which makes him all it. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to take Flare Wolf off. We are going to put a brand new fire creation crystal on the portal. And we are going to create ourselves a fire brawler. Welcome to the Creation Crystal Portal Master. Here you can create your very own Imaginator. First choose a battle class. Each class uses a unique type of weapon. Okay, we're going for brawler in this case. Brawler Imaginators are strong heroes with a mastery of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Are you ready to create a brawler? Choosing a battle class is a final decision. And we are creating a brawler. A new brawler is born. Now, bring your imagination to life. Okay, guys. So, um, this is our Skylanders Remaginator series. Um, I, it's been probably about a week since I've gotten to make one of these things. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving Day, um, the whole week of Thanksgiving and stuff like that gave me some time to make some extra videos. You guys uh, really showed that you like those. I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. Uh, all the comments and lists of other figures that you'd like to see, and I've definitely been taking note of those figures and uh, trying to research and, and, and figure out which ones I can make and which ones look right and which ones are a little too difficult to make and so forth. So, you know, please don't stop. You know, go ahead and continue to list the guys that you like. Um, you know, if you've listed one, one uh, person over and over, one character over and over again, you know, I've, I've seen it. You don't have to keep doing that uh, that way. But, you know, definitely let me know what you think about the characters that I am making. And I will keep trying to uh, plug away and get uh, other figures made. So, anyway, moving forward, uh, we've got Ghost Rider here. We're going to start off with um, the look and the body and the head. And there is going to be one particular head that is a no-brainer and pretty much has Skill to be uh, the head for Ghost Rider. So we are looking for uh, basically just the skull. Mr. I think it's called Mr. Skull. Okay, and there is Mr. Skull. And that's pretty much the head we need for that. And then on the eyes, um, I think I did the glowing eyes. No. It's kind of hard to tell. I think on the eyes, we chose these cool. right there. And then there's no ears. And as far as his chest is concerned, um, we got the um, the pilot's chest. So let's start up at the top and then scan down and find the pilot's chest. Excellent. There we go. All right. And then next we're looking for his arms. Um, the arms, uh, I actually use the deep sea arms. So we want deep sea arms. All right. Okay, deep sea arms and legs. Um, I think we just went with our good old fashioned adventurer legs. So let's go and find those. Ghouls gotta look their best. Yeah, <laughs> love the puns. And Ghost Rider does not have a tail, so so far so good. Let's go back a step, and we're gonna choose and see if we can get his weapon at this point. I think we can. Okay, so 
Because uh, Ghost Rider a lot of times will use uh, his whips or his chains as whips, um, we're going to go ahead and use um, these this chain pain because they don't actually have uh, whips or, or just other chains that he can use. So this is the closest we can get um, to the spirit of Ghost Rider and using a chain um, brass knuckle type of thing. So we're going to pick these. Sweet! And then let's see what else we've got. We're going to go with uh, gear. And as far as the gear is concerned, uh, there's no... Yeah, well, the headgear. And, of course, that was that... Um, let's find where she is. This is hothead, and that's the one we want. It's going to require level 6, so... What that means is we're going to have to go and level him up real quick. Uh, and usually what I'll do is I'll go into the battle arena and level him up and then come back and finish the creation. So let's go ahead and do that. Hired up for victory! And we'll be changing that as well. So let's go ahead and go into the battle arena and we'll level him up real quick and go then go back into creation. Well, 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 Okay, so we got to level six. We're gonna go back into look. And what are we missing here? So weapon gear, yes, gear, headgear, and we are looking for hot head. There we go, right there. See the flames? Can't have Ghost Rider without a flaming head, can we? Alright, so shoulder guards. Um, for the shoulder guards, we chose the spiky shoulder guards. And I just gotta find them. And then as far as arm guards, I don't know that I put any on him. Nope. I think the arm guards and leg guards kind of interfered with the look of the character, so I didn't do any of that. And I didn't put on a backpack, so we don't have any of this other stuff here. Next we go to size, so let's go ahead and size this guy up real quick. Alright, so for sizing purposes, I think this is kind of where I want him. And then we're going to go into color. And this is where most of the magic happens, as I say in almost every one of these videos. Because this is where the character really comes to life. So let's take a look at what his colors look like so you can kind of just sit back and watch the magic happen. Okay, I think that has this as far as his coloring goes. So what do you think about Ghost Rider? This guy looks amazing and menacing. So uh, we did also pick an aura for him. And there is, again, a no-brainer as far as this goes. I think that's it right there, the fire elemental. And so as he runs around, he has flames just all around him. That is Ghost Rider. All right. So, let's go down and take a quick look at some of his powers. Uh, as far as the boxer goes, uh, quick jabs and uppercuts, or powerful blows. Um, 
think I'm going to stay with the Boxer. Uh, Burning Dash, that's always you know a really good one, and it happens to work really well with, uh, with uh, Ghost Rider. And Dashing Uppercut, let's see where we're at as far as the secret technique. So we've got uh, the Megaton Punch, a Knockout Clap, there is a release an explosive energy punch, or there is the dashing uppercut. I think we'll keep it on the dashing uppercut. And then later on, uh, once we get enough money, we'll upgrade him to Fists of Fury, get these, uh, the Soul Gem, and uh, be able to use this. So, um, But we don't have access to that now because we got no money. So personality, uh, let's see what we put in for that. Uh, of course, first and foremost, the name is Ghost Rider. And then as far as the voice Fired is concerned... Up for victory! Um, let's see. I think I chose... See if this works up. It works at all. Let's go ahead and get Fired his voice and everything done, victory. and we'll go from there. All right. So. Fired up for my wrath. I like it. I like it a lot. And let's see if we want to put any music on here. I think for music. I went for some rock and roll, but with no effects. So chose rock. So that's definitely going to be him. All right, so here is our Ghost Rider. And as in all these videos, I'm going to chirp this guy out for you. So if you've got your creator apps handy, uh, you can go ahead and receive this now. If not, you can put this uh, video in your watch later list and come back and watch it later. Or pause it and go get it and come back. So I'm going to go ahead and chirp it out now. And if you're not really sure what this chirp is, go watch some of my earlier videos and they'll explain the whole thing in those. Okay, so hopefully you got that. I'm going to go ahead and send it one more time just to be on the safe side. So here's one more send of this, or the chirp of this, to transfer this Ghost Rider to your creator app. Okay. So that hopefully will do it. If you were in fact able to download uh, this Ghost Rider into your Creator app, uh, let me know in the comments below. Just say, hey, I managed to get Ghost Rider. And uh, look him over, see what you think. If you're able to improve on him in any way, let me know what parts that you would change. Uh, that'd be really interesting to find out somebody else's take on that. But right now, there he is in game, Ghost Rider. What do you think? They look so cool once you actually get them in the game and no, battling some of these enemies because yeah. here it is a Skylander game and you're okay. not expecting to see Ghost Rider uh, in a Skylander game, right? So that's been kind of what's been fun for me. Uh, a lot of people like to, you know, create their own uh, character. That's fantastic. I've actually made a few myself. Uh, I find it kind of fun and challenging, though, to, you know, try to create a pre-existing character from somebody because, you know, you're limited on the parts that you have and having to use your imagination to um, say, how can I get this guy to look as close to this other guy as possible? And that's what's been fun for me. It's just been really fun. I've had a lot of uh, uh, good times with these videos, and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying them a lot. I appreciate you so much for watching. So as usual, I am going to finish off this uh, battle arena. Uh, if you want to keep watching Ghost Rider battle and kick these bad guys' butts, uh, stay with me till the end of the video. If you want to go ahead and leave now and check out one of my other videos, there'll be lots of links down in the description below. So feel free to check one of those links out. And if I don't see you at the end of this video, I will catch you in the next. This has been Brylander with Portal Power TV signing off. Take care and God bless.
Level up. What the? Oh, I see. This guy doesn't just leveled up. I forgot that was a thing for some reason. Monster power! Of course, there's his, um, you know, fire, so if he's dashing fire, pretty powerful, um, thing to use. It's great because you don't even have to be there, and the, if they touch the fire, they're getting damaged, and also it goes great with Ghost Rider being a fire element and a character that uses fire. Uppercut's great. Like I said, I leave a fire trail behind. And I'm standing over here and look at him getting damaged over there. It's oh, yeah. awesome. You can say goodbye to that enemy. So I'm pretty sure he can't hear you. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. Chill, Bill. It is a pretty bad day to be a bad guy. Okay, I don't know Round if the next round can technically get any more exciting, but if it can, booyah! So who should I make next? I've been getting a ton. I've been asked, getting asked for Spider-Man. I've been getting asked for Superman. That one's going to be hard to do. Superman's going to be really difficult. Uh, there's not really anything that symbolizes or looks like resemblance. And that's kind of the big part of that costume. But we've been getting uh, several other Undertale characters requested. We've been getting Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, or as FNAF as I call it. Um, so those guys are all kind of difficult. I've been looking into it, though. But I've been wanting to make this Ghost Rider for a while, but I haven't had that hot head, the hair, the fire hair. And when I found out that Flare Wolf was required, um, I just knew it's like, oh, man, I can't wait for Flare Wolf to come out. So he's actually been my most anticipated figure. If you uh, for, miss my unboxing video uh, for for all of like most of wave three, uh, that was posted just like a uh, like earlier today, and there will probably be a link for that video in the description below as well. Defeated enemy right there. Level up. Booyah! Oh, I had to jump in there and call it the Skylander leveling up. I say booyah. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea at the time. That probably didn't feel very good. I think this might be my last oh, couple right, enemies here. Right there, and so close. I mean, you know, not well, not but still. Don't bring that stuff in here. Okay, this is just some fearless feedback. The Skylanders should probably try to not get hit so much. is just mowing down these bad guys like it's uh, mowing day or something. See you later, non-alligators. Wow, this battle is really raging on. And that means you might even hear me say the same thing twice, thrice, or whatever. All right, guys. I mean, you I hung in there with me oh, to the end. I thank you so much. Or this will be a pretty much a wrap for this video. And like I said you. earlier. Glad I will see you in the next one. Anymore, frankly, it did kind of come off as a little crazy. Still, though, great W for the Skylanders. Skylander, that was awesome. And I'm talking about the good kind. And hey, here's... Set bar found. A reward for all that hard work.